is that? Oh, you're really going for it, huh? Yeah, so satisfying. Oh, it does burn. Good morning from Jordan. It is day four, and today we are at the lowest place on Earth. We're at the Dead Sea, and it's actually warm. After the last few days, I didn't think there was any way that we would possibly be getting in the water today. And I'm not complaining about it. Last night we stayed in this awesome hotel. It's like a mini village and it has its own private beach on the Dead Sea. So that's where we're heading now. We are devoting our entire day to floating in the Dead Sea, doing the related activities, and I'm so excited. Very much. The hotel where we're staying is really, really beautiful. There are at least three infinity pools overlooking the Dead Sea, and all of the buildings are made of like sand. So they look really deserty. There's palm trees everywhere. I could stay here so much longer than two nights. Oh. So before we get into the Dead Sea, I thought it'd be fun just to show you what happens when I try to float in regular water. My entire life, I've never once been able to float. As soon as I lay down, I have to do my hands to stay floating and then my feet just immediately sink. I'm gonna stop. Not even close. <laughs> How cool is this? For the Americans watching this video, this is about 1,300 feet. Are we going the right way? I don't think so. Somehow we found ourselves hiking down to the Dead Sea. <laughs> Dead Sea by the Lumineers is probably one of our all time favorite songs. And we're considering just completely demonetizing this video so we can use it. Well, think about it as we're floating. I'm like Okay, we're back on the path. Not sure how we did that. This is so nuts. We found ourselves this own little private part of the beach. It's more like rocks. It's not really a beach. But like all of the rocks, as soon as you get up close to the water, they're just completely coated in like an inch of salt. They say the Dead Sea is actually nine times saltier than the ocean. So that's why you're supposed to be able to float. I don't want to lick it. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Okay. Maybe should have worn my sandals. Oh, it's a bit warmer than the pool. Yeah? If this is your first time watching our vlog. I do not do well with cold. It's warm, but it is not hot. And I do not swim unless I am hot. Okay. Okay. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about Wadi Rum. I'm excited about Petra, but for some reason, this is probably what I was most excited about coming to Jordan. And it's crazy. Like the water feels like completely normal water, but if you actually look closely at it, it looks like when water and oil mixes and you can kind of like see the, the wavy patterns in it. I'm putting my complete trust in the Dead Sea because I've brought our nice camera out here with me thinking I'm going to float. It's very rocky. That's crazy looking. From far away, the water looks super clear. I was actually really surprised at how clear it was, but like, it looks like olive oil when you get up close. Okay, we're gonna lean back together and hope that the water catches us. Are you, you look like you're gonna jump. No! Okay, I'm just, just lean back. Myself. One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! wow! This is awesome! I'm floating for the first time in my life! It takes no effort. Even my arms, like they're just effortlessly floating. None of my hair has gotten wet because my head is so far out of the water. I cannot believe this. This is incredible. Like the Dead Sea. Oh, the sun's coming back out. <laughs> it's not even that cold. I've totally forgotten about it being cold. How good is this? This is awesome. So we've learned a bunch of fun facts that I'd like to share, but I'll try not to bombard you with too much information. I think it's fascinating. The Jordan River ends in the Dead Sea and then just evaporates. And so all the salt is left in this concentrated area. That's about as much as I know when it comes to like the scientific reasoning for it. But that doesn't exactly... Hi. Apparently we're not allowed to swim at the private beach that we found. Probably all the people are over somewhere else. But the thing that doesn't make sense to me about the Jordan River running into the Dead Sea and it being super salty is that the Dead Sea is fresh water. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I think this is a towel. 
It weighs like 20 pounds and it's hard as a rock. How crazy is that? I don't know if that was a towel, but this is definitely a burlap bag. Oh, you can see it. Look at it just breaking. Oh, it just snapped in half. That's crazy. It's amazing what salt can do to things. I hope this isn't what happens to our camera. Look, you can literally just tear this burlap bag in two. That's what our bathing suits are gonna look like after the day's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was just our pre-soak. Now that our pores are nice and open, we are taking the Dead Sea mud and rubbing it all over our bodies. It's supposed to be really good for your skin, just so densely packed with minerals. It's so soft. So we're gonna rub this everywhere, and then you lay out and let it dry, and then you get back in the sea and rinse it off. It feels like silk. I don't know how I'm gonna get it off. You're not supposed to put your face in. So excited about this. <laughs> this is the highlight of my trip right now. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> and now we wait for it to dry. This is so much fun. It's already like getting so my hard and crusty. <laughs> also, I washed my hands off so I could touch the camera and it took about five minutes to get my hands clean. So I have a good feeling. <laughs> We're gonna be so in there scrubbing thin. off for a long time. I can't wait. Feels so crusty. I feel like I need to not oh my off my hair. This looks like super old, like scaly skin. Like a oh, lizard. There's some salt in there too. Oh, this has to be so good for my skin. Totally. So there were two big tips that we were told before coming here. The first one being take off all your jewelry before you get in because it could mess it up. So we did that. Well, our ring's still I did silver. That. <laughs> and if you have any wounds, do not get them in the water because it burns like crazy. I like cut the palm of my hand a little bit on that crusty towel earlier and it burns so bad. And that includes shaving too. So we, we didn't shave yesterday. We strategically planned our shaving. <laughs> for the day before. This has been so much fun. I love this. And we're sitting here and we're looking at another country right now. We're sitting in Jordan and we're looking across the Dead Sea of Palestine. And it's sunny and warm and I just could not be happier right now. <laughs> Kara almost did not let me plan this trip at this time of the year because she did not think she'd be able to get in the Dead Sea. That's true. Oh, gross. Ew. It feels so satisfying. Oh, I can't wait to wash it off. A little bit splash in my mouth. A wave came and I kind of lost my balance. I don't even know how to describe it. Like burnt. Like my tongue was burning. Like it didn't even taste like salt. It was just. Anyways, it comes off so fast once it dried. I haven't even like rubbed my skin and it's already off. I still cannot get over the fact that I'm just floating with zero effort. This is incredible, but I really want this crusty stuff off my face. This is like one of those things that I hyped up in my head to the point where like it can never be as good as it was in my head. But this is one of the things that actually lived up to how excited I was. I had a lot of people tell me don't try to go over on your stomach, but I'm just really curious what's going to happen. Oh, it's not that bad. It's a neck workout. Look, I can even get my hands out of the water. <laughs> This is so great. You can totally swim in the Dead Sea. People told me it was impossible. It does take some balance. Like the hardest part about it is just trying not to like turn back over. Like the water wants me to immediately turn back over on my back. Oh, I feel like a child. This is great. <laughs> Apparently since it's the lowest place on earth, it's the least harmful UV rays, I guess because the sunlight has to travel the furthest. And apparently you're not supposed to need sunscreen. So we didn't put any on. It feels so good to be clean. I cannot get over how soft everything feels. It's amazing. Okay, I think we're just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just kind of hanging out. There's a spa at the hotel. We'll go sit in the hot tub and just enjoy ourselves. It's gonna be so great. They are actually pumping water from the Dead Sea into this pool. 
so I can still float. And it's warm. It's so funny when you're floating and you have your ears underwater, like you were just totally oblivious to what's going on in the rest of the world. Kind of like your heads now. It feels so good to be clean and soft. <laughs> Today has been so much fun. <laughs> Oh, I hope the Dead Sea's warmer than this pool. Oh, it's so cold. Should I take off my sunnies? No, I'm wearing mine. You are? We're floating, your head's not going under. Okay, you're right, you're right. It's so bright here. Ah! I feel like I need to move faster. <laughs> I have to turn around. How's it look? Good. Go for it. You have like clumps of dirt hanging from your hair. <laughs> you look like a Maddie dog. You can just sit straight up. We could just swim to Palestine right now. <laughs> we really can. And when you get tired, you just stop and you float. Okay, we're gonna keep this video short and sweet, <laughs> and tomorrow we'll see you in Petra. Exit Bye. <laughs>